This video is a sequel to Shark's Born to Buck video and continues to expose the rodeo's biggest lie. That rodeo horses are somehow born to buck. The truth is that rodeo horses buck because they are abused. Prior to the 2007 National High School Rodeo Association Finals in Springfield, Illinois, Shark obtained a court order that included banning the use of electrocution to make animals perform. As you will see, stock contractor Johnson & Jordan's horses are not born to buck, and neither are any other horses in the rodeo industry. Here we have a contestant getting ready for a harrowing ride on a mean, wild, crazy bucking bronco. At least that's what the rodeo industry would have us believe. So hold on to your seats as you wait for the explosion out of the chute. Here he comes. White lightning, yeah right. How about white laid back? As usual, these self-proclaimed animal experts can't take even a broad hint and so they try to rile White Lightning for a second attempt at making him appear as what he certainly is not, a mean, wild, crazy horse. So let's see what happens when the Cowboys give it another try. Oh yeah, White Lightning's born to buck. You'll notice that the boy standing on the chute gate has a rope around White Lightning's neck and he's trying to pull him out. It's obviously not working, and the court order doesn't allow the rodeo people to use one of their favorite weapons, the painful 5 to 6,000 volt electric prod. Our horse is still stalling. Go ahead, Greg. Yes, Greg, please say something that will make the audience forget that there is yet another tame, domesticated horse that won't buck because for once a court order protected him from the usual rodeo animal abuse. Back in about 1990, the Pittsburgh City Council passed an ordinance that did not ban rodeos outright, but did ban the use of electric prods, buck straps, and spurs. The result was that there hasn't been a rodeo in Pittsburgh ever since, because a rodeo cannot be held without rodeos' tools of torture. Just watch what our friends in the rodeo are cooking up now because this will tell you everything you'll ever need to know about Born to Buck. Well, there's obviously something going on at the chute. So what, you may be asking yourself, is that pickup man doing at the chute? And why is he pulling out his rope? Even if the truth crosses your mind, you'll likely discount the notion. Nah, he wouldn't. Would he? Okay, now, Casey Love's horse didn't like shoot number 11 for some reason, so we moved it up to the Carhartt shoot, shoot number 12. We're going to see what we can do with him right now. Middleton, Idaho. They actually try to drag one horse out with another horse. Well, it's going to oh, be a... We've changed this to the lead line bareback riding now. Lead line bareback riding, and it didn't work either. And still, White Lightning isn't even close to bucking. They're offering pony rides at the Rumpstock Arena. Pony rides! Get your pony rides! Tame enough to give pony rides. And that's about as close as a rodeo announcer will ever come to speaking the truth. Besides using pickup horses to drag so-called bucking horses out of the chutes, they also used phony cowboys. It was like a game of tug-of-war. Who do you think won? Looks like that's a point for the horse. Well, our friends in the John Wayne Halloween costumes are still game, even if the horses are not. So once again, they're ready to give it the old cowboy try. Hey, this really is a wild, crazy, rank bucking horse. Oh, look at him go. Oh, oh gee. I guess he just wanted to avoid the hassle and harassment from the little men in the chute. 139 is leading in the average on two right now. And we got a little bit of a stage right here. 
It's not stage fright, Mr. Rodeo announcer. It's a tame domesticated horse that is not born to buck. Look, every kid wants to play cowboy, and apparently some of us just can't bear the idea of growing up. Now, there's nothing wrong with running around in a costume. Heck, life should be fun. But there is something wrong with mistreating animals, shocking horses, tightening straps around their groin, and spurring them to make them appear wild is cruel and a public fraud. If you wouldn't do this to a horse, why would you pay somebody else to do it for you by going to a rodeo? It's the 21st century. It's time to stop abusing animals. It's time for rodeos to stop deceiving the public with claims of born to buck. It's time to evolve. Please don't go to rodeos and please don't give your money to corporations who sponsor rodeos such as Coca-Cola, AT&T, Dodge Automobiles, Southwest Airlines, McDonald's, Sam's Club, and Walmart. All of these companies have received overwhelming information regarding rodeo animal abuse and simply don't care.